Hey everybody, Jeff. Hello guys. Hey, we're traveling northbound. Uh, just worked all day. I don't know if you can see us. The sun is the really sun bleaching is us out. Uh, so I'm gonna come in close to me. Ah! Okay, uh, we're both traveling northbound on 95, heading to South Carolina. We worked all day in Wellington. We got a bunch of horses in South Carolina, then back down the east coast of Florida uh, tomorrow. Uh, so we're constantly moving, no moss growing on this rock. Anyway, uh, a couple things happened today, and I'm gonna post some pictures uh, just below this, um, which is gonna be kind of exciting. Uh, two things happened. One, uh, in a four-year-old, we've dug out uh, two cap remnants. Cap remnants are usually in young horses, but we've seen them pop up in as old as, what, 16? 16, 17, 18. Yeah, something sure. like that. Uh, they're the little tags that hold the baby teeth on uh, to the hor to the horse's uh, main teeth. And we want to show them to you because one is typical, the other one's a little atypical. It's got this really long uh, thing that looks, it almost looks like a wolf tooth when you look at it. And again, we're going to post the pictures right after I get this done. And the other thing was... A broken tooth. Yep. Uh, the fourth tooth back on the upper side it is the most common tooth that splits. Okay, for all you guys who live where you cut wood, uh, imagine somebody stakes a wedge and, and just puts it into log and it splits it. And it just, just splits it. And then what happens is food gets uh, put down into it, which is uh, causing it to split more and it ferments and it really stinks in there. Um, and then... Um, uh, at some point it snaps and a piece just breaks off usually at the gum line and it just hangs out into the middle of the mouth or in this case is on the top side going in and um, you can easily feel them but here's the point you can have these um, uh, broken teeth that are just you think are horrible if you saw a picture of them and a lot of people do show pictures of them making you feel horrible but what does the horse show? Absolutely nothing. Most clients say he had a broken tooth He's yeah, like, oh, great. <laughs> yeah, and it's really funny because um, the horse shows no signs. I mean, there were evi there was evidence in there that it was bothering the horse because there was uh, really sharp teeth. Some of the uh, opposing teeth were starting to uh, erupt into that space. Uh, it had been a year since we'd seen that horse, but um, it was really cool. Just a little bit of uh, sedation, and it didn't take much. A little bit of painkiller, I was able to dig out the the. Uh, uh, fermenting food in, in there and get out and then I put my tongs on it and just gently extract it and you have to be really careful because the fourth tooth back on the upper side sits right next to something called a palatine artery and boy if that gets next what do we get a bunch of blood it is gushing blood <laughs> we had, yeah blood comes out like crazy and you take it out in shovelfuls but at least we warn the owner that it's a possibility and the horse usually has no problem uh, with that yeah <laughs> somebody's like oh my god <laughs> one of those faces but um uh, the truth of the matter is the horse afterwards is very grateful that we've taken out this foreign object out of its mouth and there we are we're getting them both down I guess the sun changed it's a really bit. no big deal uh, the blood stops you'll see the clotting material come in and the horses do well We've only had, I think, three total that have ever had that bloody mess. Yep. Uh, everybody else has been fine. Out of thousands and thousands of horses. So uh, we let everybody know that's a possibility, but it hardly ever happens. Uh, but it's always the fourth tooth back. And if one breaks off, there's a good chance that the mirror image or the mirror tooth on the other side will also get a fracture at some point. What's happening is there is dental decay that goes up what's called a pulp chamber and it creates a cavity. And, and for a while there, back in the early 2000s, there are some... Uh, people who actually um, fill those cavities but recently some studies were done that showed that that's a, a fool's way of spending your money uh, don't worry about it but you know the bottom line about this whole thing is if we saw this happening a year ago we wouldn't have done anything there's nothing you can do uh, at some point it will just take care of itself and the chief pops out and I mean Melissa's seen a bunch of them too oh yeah yeah and, and they've noticed in uh, wild horses too, the Brumbies in Australia, they did a little study and these horses, they get broken teeth, they get um, ulcers from the sharp edges, just like we see in our horses here. So this lady who rode the horse is an accomplished rider and she had noticed, she thought maybe something was up, but the horse really sh never showed much. Um, so anyway, um, oh, uh, John asked, does it affect uh, the horse from eating? And the answer is usually not, unless the displaced tooth goes into the tongue or into the cheek and creates the ulcer. If it does, then it's gonna um, 
cause an obstruction to the movement of the jaw or the movement of the um Oh, what do you call it? The, um, the tongue around the tongue. Uh, right. Also, it's a threshold of pain. So, a pebble in your shoe and a pebble in your friend's shoe. What are you going to cry? The other going to say, "What's your problem?" And a lot of these horses say, "Oh well, no big deal." So, threshold pain is always the biggest factor. Just like a pebble in your shoe and a pebble in your friend's shoe, and they're both identical pebbles. One cries, can't move. The other one says, "Come on, it's just a pebble. Let's keep, keep marching along." And so, the threshold pain is everything. Um, and then this horse, the threshold of pain was relatively high, uh, and the horse had been taken care of for years, but again, it had been a year since the teeth were done, and uh, it surprised a woman uh, who's a pretty good horseman who said, wow, I had no idea, and uh, now it saved it. But anyway, I have a picture of that too in my palm of my hand so you can see the size of it. Uh, and when you see it, it's only a portion of the tooth, maybe um, a third of the width from the outside to the inside if you're looking straight down on the tooth and you'll see how long it is so it's a whole uh, crown of the tooth or the tooth that's exposed right down to the gum line you might see some tags of gum line on there so those are the two exciting things that we saw on 18 horses and again 18 horses how many did we drug one and one. it was for an extraction that's right so all the rest of these jumpers and hunters uh, did just fine. Uh, showed a lot of relief, a lot of pain relief from uh, reducing all the sharp points to um, smooth edges and showed some gratefulness. So that's it. Anything else you want to add? Have a happy new year. There it is. Happy <laughs> new year. All right. We'll do the same again tomorrow. Uh, thanks, guys.